The eighth video in use of MATLAB looks at offset to ramps. Now this video um, is for completeness only and hence will be very brief. We note that ramp signals tend to infinity and therefore any numerical package such as MATLAB is going to struggle to handle this signal over long time periods unless you do some form of trick to avoid the infinities obviously. So in order to get a meaningful plot we've got two choices. Keep the time period small that is finish your time before the ramp signal gets too large and you get big numerical errors or only compute and plot the signals which you know converge. A reminder then of how we define offset for a simple loop like the one given here. Now the offset generally is defined as the value of this signal here E which we've covered earlier. A reminder of the formula that you might like to use. So E is given as 1 over 1 plus GM times R and Y is GM over 1 plus GM times R. And when we're talking about ramps we're talking about signals R which are 1 over S squared that's clearly a unit ramp. Uh, ramps can have other magnitudes, but that's not really needed for this video here. A reminder then of the formula for finding offsets. You remember you had this formula from earlier videos that the error as a Laplace transform is 1 over 1 plus gm times 1 over s squared. If I apply the final value theorem, I get this formula here. The limit as s goes to 0 of 1 over s times g times m. Now, if I also look at the output, then you'll find for all normal systems that the asymptotic output is going to go to infinity. So I can't actually compute the output over long time periods, but it is quite possible that the error will converge under a very simple condition. So the asymptotic error is finite if and only if g times m includes at least one integrator. Obviously we're assuming that the closed loop is stable otherwise we're wasting our time computing offset anyway. But a reminder the output can only be plotted for small time scales. Let's look at MATLAB then. How are we going to deal with this? So first let's define the uh, input signal, the ramp. So you'll notice I've defined a, oops, something went wrong there. I've defined the time Um, t as 0 uh, to 20 in steps of 0 0.05 and I've said that the u is exactly the same so that will give me a unit ramp and then what I've done is I said okay what do I need to use lsim so I've defined the transfer function g and you'll notice I've include an in included an integrator so g equals tf11560 compensator of 1 I've defined the transfer function between the ramp and the error that's feedback 1 comma gm. The transfer function between the ramp and the output, that's feedback g times m comma 1. And then I've used lsim to calculate the corresponding outputs and errors. Now, first of all, let's just check what we expect. Uh, if we put in the numbers, we expect that the steady state error comes from 1 over sgm as s goes to 0. And you'll notice because g is defined as 1 over s cubed plus 5s squared plus 6s plus 0. That substituting that in, I get the steady state error is 6. So let's go to MATLAB then and check this out. So what we've got here is we've put some of these signals in in advance so you can see what's happening. So there's my ramp and there's my transfer function definition. So t not 20 in steps of 0 0.5 and g as expected. I then calculate my closed loop transfer functions exactly as in the slide. Um, I use lsim to calculate the output and the error using again the same commands as in the slide and then finally I do the plot. And what do you notice? If you look at this plot you can see this green signal here corresponds to the ramp. That's the input signal and you notice it's going off to infinity but we've stopped it obviously after 20 seconds before we get numerical problems. You'll see that the red signal corresponds to the output and you'll see that's also going off to infinity but it's getting to a point where it's got a constant error or distance from the ramp. And finally you'll see this last signal here 
is the error itself, which converges and converges as we expect to 6. So some conclusions. MATLAB can be used to illustrate the tracking of ramps, but only over short time periods. If the offset's convergent, then you could compute the signal over much longer time periods if you wanted to.